What's going on guys? It's Troy Dan here. Today, we're going to be playing some NBA 2K17. And as you see behind me, we have a lovely wheel. Lovely. This wheel has NBA players on it from the past and the present. Some of these players were added to this wheel for their behavior. Some of them for certain situations. And others for just being giant fuckwads. So for today, our My Team Challenge is the wheel! of douchebags. Oh boy. Douchebag. A small syringe for douching the vagina, especially as a contraceptive measure. Or as it's used today, an obnoxious or contemptible person, typically a man. Now before you get pissed off that your favorite player might be on this wheel, don't get mad at me. Well, entirely. My stream helped me choose most of these players for incidents they have had in their career. So with that being said, we're going to spin this wheel 13 times to complete a My Team lineup, and we're going to play someone online. Let's spin the wheel and get our first twat waffle. Let's go! Big money. Give me the douchiest. We got... Oh, the little Frenchman, Tony Parker. Bonjour. 77 overall point guard for the San Antonio Spurs, Tony Parker. Tony is a special kind of douchebag. He was married to one of the hottest women, Eva Longoria. And guess what he did? Yeah, he cheated on her. And to make it worse, guess who he cheated on her with? One of his teammates' wives. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we got our first douchebag. Let's spin it again. Big money. I don't know why I keep saying big money. It's a, it's a big habit. Bad habit. We got... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Latrell Sprewell. Are you little... 85 overall Sapphire number 8 Latrell Sprewell from the New York Knicks. Latrell was a great player in his day. He had some accomplishments. He was picked in the first round in 1992. But it's all foreshadowed by this one incident in 1997 when he decided to choke his coach during a practice. Because of this, he received a 68 game suspension. Latrell? You're a dick. I apologize. All right, let's see who we got next. Spin the wheel, baby. Spin the wheel of douchebags. What are we doing here? Here we go. We got, oh, a Laker, D'Angelo Russell. Anything else I should know, D'Angelo? Got a phone? Trust me. 74 overall, number one point guard, D'Angelo Russell of the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, this was a tough one for me to put him here. Because on one side, yeah, he is a douchebag for what he did. On the other, he's kind of a good guy for it. Of course, if you don't know, D'Angelo Russell ratted on one of his teammates, Nick Young. Nick Young was cheating on his fiance, Iggy Azalea, at the time. Is D'Angelo really a douchebag? I mean, it is bros before hoes, so I don't know. You make the decision. Hey, what do we do with snitches in this bitch? What do we do with snitches in this bitch? Let's go. Come on, baby. Give me someone good out there. I don't even know who's really out here, actually. Um, <laughs> God. Oh, Jeremy Lin. All right. You mad, bro? 72 overall point guard from now the Brooklyn Nets. It is Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin, um, this is an interesting one for me. You might be wondering, Troy, why is he a douchebag? Well, it's his hair. Look at his hair. What is he doing? Last season, he had some sort of mohawk going on. This year, I don't know if he's trying to channel his inner Allen Iverson. I'm really not sure what's going on. But he is a douchebag because of his haircut. I didn't put him on this list, so don't get mad at me. Oh, I did put him on this list. Oh, okay. Get mad at me. Fuck you. Let's do it up. Give me another spin, man. We got a lot of people left. A lot of spots to fill. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's the worm, Dennis Rodman. Rodman, you're kidding. Number 88 overall. One of the greatest power forwards of all time, by the way. It is Dennis Rodman. Very colorful hair. I like this card. And I like Dennis Rodman. He's not that bad of a person, right? Well, in 1997, he kicked a cameraman in the groin for absolutely no fucking reason other than he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, I will say one thing. That cameraman faked that a little bit. He didn't kick him that hard. But either way, Dennis probably should not have done that. 
Rodman, I like what you're doing, you know, going to North Korea. It's hilarious when you're drunk on CNN. You, sir, unfortunately, are a douchebag. Do you have to take the abuse? Well, we gonna take it. Who's next? Let's find out. Spin that wheel, baby. Spin that wheel for me. It is... DeMarcus Cousins. We got 83 overall. Of course, the center from the Sacramento Kings. I think he's the best center in the league. DeMarcus freaking Cousins. Now, I did not agree on putting DeMarcus onto this list, but I kind of understand it. Some people have told me he's a bit of an emotional lesbian. I'm not even sure what that means, but he's a bit of a dick to reporters. He's been quoted to have a steroid personality. I also don't know what that means, but he has been suspended by his own team multiple times. He might be a bit of a jerk, but he's a really good center. So, hey, I'm glad he's on the team. Hell yeah. Spin it! Let's do it! Who's next? Lots of people left. Lots of spots left on the team. One, four! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Fuck you, Katie! Fuck this challenge would not be complete if this man was not on the team. 83 overall, now on the Golden State Warriors, it is Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin is one of the best players in the league, definitely one of the best scorers, no doubt about that. The reason people hate him is because of the team he decided to join in the offseason. Of course, KD played on the Oklahoma City Thunder. They almost beat the Golden State Warriors in the conference finals, but unfortunately lost. Because of that, Kevin did the old slogan of, if you can't beat them, join them. He joined the Warriors, he backstabbed his home team, and everyone is pissed. Everyone except Warriors fans. They're very happy right now. Stop. Curry. Clay. Good top down. Draymond. Green. We're more than halfway there. Give us another douchebag wheel. Some big assholes on this for sure. And, oh, wait, was it? Oh, Mr. Chris Humphreys. 69 overall. That's a bronze power forward from the Atlanta Hawks. It's Chris Humphreys. Now, Chris is here, I'll say, for one main reason. That was his marriage to Kim Kardashian. Some people say it was a sham. I don't know. It only lasted 72 days. But he was a fucking asshole to her. Apparently, the marriage ended because he called her a fat ass. Which is kind of true. She does have a big bite. But anyway, Chris Humphreys apparently was a big jerk. I don't know. Chris, you made our list. All right, just a few more spots left. Let's see what we got out here. There's some giant D-bags on this list. They must be out here, right? We got DeAndre Jordan. Really, baby? 79 overall, one of the best centers in the league as well. He is from the Clippers, DeAndre Jordan. Now... DeAndre Jordan had a bit of an incident with the Dallas Mavericks a couple seasons ago. Everyone thought it was a done deal. He, everyone thought he was going to Dallas. Everyone except DeAndre Jordan. At the last minute, he backstabbed Mark Cuban and decided he wasn't going anywhere. Well, I think also the Clippers held him hostage as well. So either way, for this ordeal and the situation he was put in, we're going to label you as a douchebag. Not my idea. Fucking liar. We gotta pick somebody. And that somebody is gonna be Mr. Jalil Okafor. 75 overall from the struggling 76ers. He is a center. Jalil Okafor. I think I said it right that time. And it looks like I actually spelt his name right too. I didn't expect that. Anyway, we know last season this was one of the best rookies. But he could not seem to stay out of trouble. He got into not one, but two street fights where he knocked out a man in Boston. You don't do that when you're a professional athlete. It's not a good idea. For that, you, sir, are a douchebag. Give me the spin now. We got... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, yeah. Swaggy P, Nick Young. Well, he was a clown, then. <laughs> 68 overall, number zero from the Los Angeles Lakers. What happened to you? Nick Young, Swaggy P, 
Swaggy is also the reason D'Angelo Russell is a douchebag because this guy was the one that cheated on his wife and D'Angelo Russell unfortunately had to leak the information. Nick not only cheated one time, he apparently cheated with multiple women on Iggy Azalea and it seems like he's an all-around bad person. He's also a bad player, he gets nothing done for LA. Sorry, I'm a salty Laker fan, I want Nick gone. But hey Nick, you made my lineup. Do you feel like you're the greatest of all time? Yeah, of course, you know, um... We got two final spots left. Let's see what we can get out here. Come on! Give me- I don't know what I need. I got a pretty good team, to be honest. I'm not gonna argue. We got- Oh ho ho! Junior! J.R. Smith. 74 overall shooting guard from the Cleveland Cavaliers, a current reigning NBA champion. It's J.R. Smith. Now, I must admit, watching J.R. Smith celebrate his NBA championship was quite hilarious. Yeah, I think he was drinking Hennessy out of a water cooler. That's some fucking baller shit right there. But that doesn't take away from what you do, J.R. He likes to untie people's shoes, or tie them together even. During free throws, there's been a few incidents where he's actually untied the player's shoes, the opponent's shoes. You can't do that. That is ultra dirty. In fact, I'd call it Ric Flair. Woo! Yeah, that bad. For that, J.R. Smith, you are a douchebag. And for our final spin here, our final douchebag, who do we got? Let's see. The last one will be... Ooh! Good old Ron Artest, 83 overall. This is a historic from the Houston Rockets. You might know him now as Meta World Peace. Not me. We got Ron Artest. If you don't know why Ron Artest is on this list, well, I don't know what to tell you. Do a Google search. This man, Malice in the Palace, just one of those incidents, one of the many incidents, he went into the crowd and punched a fan. Multiple fans. I think he swung on a few players as well that night. He was suspended for the rest of the season. Ron is known as being one of the dirtiest players ever in the game. One of the most feared players as well. Because, well, he's batshit fucking crazy! Ron still plays in the league for the Lakers. That card was not available, so we're using this one. I'm glad he's in this challenge. So of course we're gonna play a man here. This is one of my Twitch subscribers. His name is KRZ12345. I have not played him before, and I have no idea how good he is or what kind of players he has. So we're gonna see, well, for the first time right now, he's got, uh, oh, you know, oh, what a motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Robert Pack, 99 Kobe, 95 Paul George, LeBron James, and Bob. Bob. Okay, he's one of these tryhards. You know what? We played a tryhard last time and I was victorious as well. Yeah, look at that lineup. All right, you know what? I have a pretty decent team. As you see, I'm starting Tony Parker, Latrell, KD, Rodman, and DeMarcus Cousins. So, you know what? I got a lot of confidence right now. What a douche. So here we go. I'm wearing my Harambe jerseys. Oh, I'm still in the New York Knicks arena. I gotta get that change. Remind me. Here we go. Jump off and... Yes! We won the jump. Here we go. Here we go. Emotional lesbian dunk! There it is! So he has a pretty good starting lineup. I think he's got a better lineup than me. But uh, you know what? We play dirty. These guys are dicks. See? Look at... Oh, no. We lost it. Well, he, he took it from him. Okay. That's Kobe Bryant. That's Kobe Bryant. That's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant missed? Okay. Let's go. We got a lot of stars out here. Fuck KD! Fuck KD! Fuck KD. <laughs> we got the worm down here. No worm, get over there. Whoa, what happened? I don't know what just happened. We are playing good, I guess. I don't know. Latrell, he'll choke you. Spree well faking it in the corner. Tony the French Man Parker! Oh, you fucking ass, but we got the rebound. No, no, you don't shoot. KD, 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 KD. Moving up here. Kevin Durant is hot early. What the hell is a weird catch? Oh, inside, inside. Parker! French man, go. Parker in the corner. He's a C shooter. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. We got cousins here. We're just going to post up. Look at this. Faking it. Pass it over. Who's that? Oh, wrong guy. Jeremy Lin's out here. Just knows some of the bench has uh, been brought out here. Automatic substitutions. Latrell Spraywell over there. Uh, Dennis Rodman does not shoot threes. At, uh, 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 th th wow! Stay with it. Good defense. 
Chris Humphreys, you might be a dick, but hey, I like it. Jeremy Lin for three. Just kidding. Let's go over there to Humphreys. Humphreys in the corner. Who's that? Oh, it's D'Angelo Russell. That's the, the rat. Oh, got D'Angelo Russell out here. Oh, Russell. Pop it over. Over at Nick Young. Swaggy P, you better hit this shit. Thank you. Get this rebound. How the fuck on a Monday? Come on. Lock oh, shit. DeAndre. Oh, the block from DeAndre. And the buzzer. We are... Ooh. We are up by eight going into the second good quarter. Jalil over there to Junior. Fake in it. Oh, no. That was not a fake. Jalil, Street Fighter. Killer combo. Yeah. J.R. Smith is still out here. He can shoot the three, so I'm kind of glad he is. Oh, Dennis Rodman. Worm? What? Are you, what, what? What the fuck just happened there? That's, these animations are stoned. Okay. Stay with Paul George. He's going to want to shoot. Oh, he tried to. He tried to, but it didn't work. Didn't work out for him, did he? Huh? the heavens is going on out here d up d up guys come on tony parker tony staying with him good stuff worm worm <sighs> oh fuck off 2k i'm sick of seeing contested shots going in there is no need for this in a video game oh tony parker how the fuck did that happen how the f Ugh. stay with it G get back to him oh well that that's just super duper french man great defense we are now losing. I blame the game mostly, but okay. We'll take that. Uh, we got Nick Young out here. Swaggy P. Swaggy pass in it. Swaggy P. The P stands for pass because you suck. Tony Parker. Get in there, French dude. Pass it. Oh, Okafor. Slam dunk. Let's throw it over to KD. Pass. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time is a-winding. Inside of DeAndre. Woo. Play some defense, dude. We need D from you. If that goes in, I was going to... Fucking punch everything in the world. Okay, slow down, slow down. To DeAndre, DeAndre, no, pass it out. Uh, I don't know, maybe? Maybe. We got four seconds here, Latrell, Latrell. What are you doing, Latrell? Shoot it, can you hit the buzzer? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Kevin Durant, let's fucking go. Kevin Durant, huge for me. Open, you can't leave him open. I told you that. Uh-oh, 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 okay. I think he had a good look, and he didn't decide to take it, so I'm not going to get mad at him. And that was a bad look, and I like that. Let's go, boys. Nick Young out here. Uh, Swaggy. I'm not shooting a three with Swaggy. That's drunk. Dennis Rodman, though. Pass it. DeAndre. Fuck you. Yeah. D'Angelo Russell. Oh, there you go, you narc. Over there to your old buddy. That old Nick Young. Oh, fuck you, Nick. I'm glad you got ratted on. D'Angelo Russell. Throw it over to... Oh, no shit. I threw it to the wrong guy. Oh, Poop on my farm. Okay, stay with it. You know, we still got a good lead here. Just don't fuck up. Don't screw anything up, and we should be okay. Uh, 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 uh. Jeremy Lane. Jeremy Lane faking it. Pass, pass! Yeah, estrogen eating turtle sandwich. But the lane, why is lane open? Why did you miss? How is that very late? Your mom's late. Late for my date. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Seattle, Seattle. Timeout. We're on our tanks down here. I see Kobe Bryant guarding him. So, no! Why would he run away? Was there something on sale? There was no reason for him to ever run away. I cannot understand that logic. The game is high. The game is smoking. Stay, you all. Oh, we got something there. Okay. Give it to Tony. Tony the Tiger. I see KD. I see down low. Cousins! Fuck. Get over there to Kobe. Do not let him get a fucking three pointer off Latrell. Choke him! Woo! That was scary. That was very scary. We got it back, though. And that's very good. Very good indeed. Latrell! For three! Oh, yeah! Go, 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 go. Right there, right there. Who is that? That's Latrell! That's a green man! We have very... Oh, we got the steal! Oh, we're... Go, 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 go! I'm feeling really good right now. He is going to launch up a three, I'm assuming. He is down by 11 with not much time left. That is, that is going in. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't let him hit another crazy three again. And holy shit, video game. Eight point lead here with less than 24 seconds to go. He's going to launch a prayer here. I think he's supposed to. I don't know why he's, he hasn't got one off yet. I guess, I guess he's given up. I guess it's over anyway. So let's give this to Kevin Durant. And we will just milk this out. Oh, he wants to foul. Okay. We are victorious with the team of douchebags as he launches a full court shot. Junior! No, no, it doesn't matter. We won by 10. 
double digits. Very impressed today on the way these guys played. And there was one guy right there that really stood out. Kevin Durant, he was only five for nine, but he did score 16 points today. Also four from long range. DeMarcus Cousins, you were also brilliant. 15 points in 13 minutes, six rebounds, six for seven shooting. The Worm, I'll say great things about you as well. Nine points, four boards. DeAndre Jordan, perfect. Tony Parker even played well in Jeremy Lane. Surprisingly, you were two for two from the three. We shot better, 64% from the field goal to his 58. He shot 42% from the three point, but I shot 56. It was it was going in a day. Defensive rebounding, we beat him there, 17 to 15. I had great rebounders, so I beat him as well on offensive rebounds, 10 to four. I had 10 steals to his seven. He had three blocks to my one, but he had 11 turnovers to my nine. And we had a lead of 11 tonight. His biggest lead was one. We almost led the entire game. Douchebags don't say they can't play because today they were freaking amazing. Guys, thank you for watching. And as always, keep your stick on the ice.